Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at Feels Like Home. It's a brand new celebration stamp set, which is going to be available from the 3rd of August. And it's a stamp set which you can get completely free for a qualifying order of £45. So if you spend £45 on any order or um, multiples of £45 on any orders um, throughout August and September, you can choose an item in the celebration catalogue absolutely free. And this is one of them. Now, it's a stamp set that will divide everybody because a lot of people will look at this and go, oh, I don't like all of that colouring. It takes such a long time. Others love colouring. But I thought that I would show you several ways of making a pretty card, which takes very little time and will give you a beautiful colour without having to do a lot of colouring. So I am going to, I will show you one that I did um, as an example, if you're wanting to do something in a... Uh, what I'd call a sepia tone. So this one, I have taken the um, cinnamon cider as my base, and then the card, I've sponged around the edges with cinnamon cider, but I've taken some colours in the inside, which was so saffron and Sahara sand, and sponge those and then stamped over the top in the cinnamon cider. And it gives a really nice background without having to do the colouring. Now, this is my first attempt, so I'm going to do it with a little bit more colouring in there. This is quite sort of um, subtle, but I wanted to do it with other things as well. So we are going to, we're going to start with a neutral, so I have got a piece of smoky slate. So the smoky slate is going to have, let me get my card base. So that is going to be how the card is going to sit. So smoky slate is our base. So I think colours that will go with smoky slate. So I'm going to stamp in the smoky slate, which is fairly subtle. So I thought colours that would go would be So Saffron and Pool Party because I think that they will match nicely. So let's have a go with those. I need a blending brush and I need a sponge dauber. So I'm going to start with the So Saffron. We can take our base away because we don't need that part. And we're literally just going to take some colour up and I do a bit of a dob because I don't want to take it off the edge because that's not going to be where we're going to have it. So I'm just dabbing it on first and then doing the sponging so that it comes fairly evenly. And I'm doing it sort of around in a sort of a circly part like this and not too dark so I want sort of some of it coming in now I know that blue and yellow because so saffron is a little bit yellow is going to come out um, greeny but I think that it will tone okay because pool party is a fairly soft colour so I'm just going to so I'm just tapping it off first of all I'm not rubbing it at all to just load my brush up and then I'm just going to take it around in and as I say if you tap it first and then blend you don't get quite as many um, what do they call it bobbly bits in there 
um, so non sort of blended pieces and I'm trying to do it fairly sort of randomly so that the colours go in together excuse my little dog it's um it's a very hot day today and there's lots of people out walking their pets and um because i am in a cul-de-sac which backs onto a big park unfortunately it means that as the people go up the road with their dogs she has to sort of turn around and goes and says my road my road but um she doesn't make too much of a noise which is pretty good okay so i'm just sort of doing it in like that and that's going to give us i think a really pretty tone so we need to get the stamp and then we need to just sort of offer it up to just see yes that's going to come in beautifully so now i need to take the smoky slate and I need to ink up the stamp well in smoky slate. Now you could use basic grey because that again would give a nice colour. But I'm making sure that I am stamping it up really well. Make sure I've got the middle bit as well. Okay and then we're going to just put that in over the center so we'll put it in I will let it rest just for a second or two because it is quite detailed but I'm hoping that this is going to give a really nice there we go I think that that looks beautiful because you've got all of the colors coming through which are mixed but you haven't over you haven't had to do any coloring at all if we then put this on to the background here, which is the smoky slate, you can see how it picks it up beautifully. Now, if you wanted to, you could do round the edges. Now, I wouldn't. I think when I did this first one, which is this one here, I think I over egged it a bit too much. I think that's much too much round there. It, it works on this, the cinnamon cider, but because this is very subtle, I don't want to put too much on there. So I'm just going to take, let's make sure that that is basic gray. Yes, it is. I'm just going to take some and I'm going to almost take some off. I literally just want to go round the actual edge part so I'm just running it down you probably won't be able to see this very clearly but I don't want it to come over the edge so I'm literally just running my sponge dauber down on the edge just to make sure that the edge part of the card isn't quite so stark it just blends it in but it doesn't make it look to, um, doesn't take it over the edge, which is what I don't want to happen on this one. I wanted this to keep it quite nice and fresh. Just do it down on the other one. Now you can actually run your paper along the ink pad but I do find that you end up with, you do pick up too much ink with this. You're just picking up the amount that you want. And then when I put that on, that still leaves the nice white border, but takes off the edge a little bit. And then we can just add a sentiment of our choice, which we could choose whatever we want, actually. We've got... Um, I'm always and forever here for you. Your friendship feels like home to me. I don't like that particularly. Your friendship feels like home to me. Um, that that doesn't work um, for me. That's uh, that's not a um, yes. I, I'm I'm not that keen on that one. I'm always and forever here for you. I think that works nicely. 
so let's have a look at that one what's it i'm i'm always it's always difficult to see upside down um i think it's that one oh so difficult sometimes to read these upside down i do struggle um your friendship feels like home to me right it must be that one then okay so let me get this one out and i just need to put it onto a little block i've still got something i was using the other day right okay so i can't even see if this is the right way up or not and maybe it's me and my my eyesight um We'll have a little look anyway. Let's um, get some smoky slate and ink it up and put it down to see. I'm always and forever here for you. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. I think just down at the bottom there. I'm always and forever here for you. Not quite straight, but... You can see how that makes it very simple, very easy, and is just a beautiful colour tone. So I thought we would go even more sort of abstract to just show you that if you pull colours together, you can create some really different looks. So we've got that first one that's got a real sort of sepia um, look to it with the cinnamon cider we've got this one which has got a really lovely fresh feel to it and the last one we're going to take the fresh freesia and so that's going to be our base color and then we're going to look and see I'm going to stamp it in blackberry bliss which is nice and dark but again picks up the tones beautifully and then I'm going to do the um, sponging in Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia because if you look at those three colours together they work beautifully and again it means that you can if you look at the cards and things that you've got um, and the ink pads then have a look at your ink pads and you can do whatever you want now I'm actually going to get another blending brush because I don't want to mix those colours up too much so Bear with me a second while I get another one. Now I do wash mine out. Um, just run them under the tap, shake them out like you would a paintbrush, leave them on the side overnight and they're perfect. So um, I've been doing that because I've only got three and it saves you buying lots of different ones. The sponge daubers, I've collected one in each colour. But these I haven't. So let me um, take that out of the way then that's not in our light. Okay, so we're doing the Fresh Freesia to start off with, which is, and again, I'm just dabbing first and then doing a bit of, so as I say, dap, 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 up and down. Then you can start blending into it. Because then it doesn't, let it go blobby because as I say if you're working from the inside rather than the out um, you know when you see techniques and I've, I've told people before start on the outside and work in well if you want it just on the inside then you're not going to be able to do that but if you just tap it first and then start blending it in it will come very different so again I'm leaving some spaces in between but I'm just taking over the area that is going to be where the stamps going to go so that I think will be enough on there I don't want it too dark even though I've chosen a very dark color to go over the top I still don't want it overly dark because it's just to give that 
really pretty colouring underneath. Now I'm just going straight over in this one because this is a slightly darker one. And again, I could just do some tappy pieces in between. And because it's a darker colour, I'm not going to refresh it. I'm literally just going to blend it in with what I've already got here because I don't want it to come too dark. So if you don't want it to be too dark, as I say, be be quite light handed, you know, don't be too heavy handed with it all because the more heavy handed you are, the more difficult it is to um, you can always add colour, as they say. You can't take it away. So I'm just taking a little bit down on here. Like that. And I might just add a tad more of the Fresh Freesia. Because I really like that. The two colours. You can see how colours blend together beautifully. just blend some of this in a bit because I do like that the two tones together I think they look beautiful okay I think that's probably about right in there so again we're going to get the stamp and this time we're going to use the Blackberry Bliss which as I say is a lot darker but tone wise it goes in perfectly so make sure that you stamp it all up although I've just got some on the outside but hopefully that won't blob on it too much because it's fairly juicy take it in on the center press it down not overly pressing because I don't want that blobby bit I've got at the side to not come out and then take that up oh yes you see now that has worked beautifully absolutely beautifully so really pleased with that um, again you've just got these lovely lovely little tones coming through and we've just used ink pads to color it in rather than as I say going through if you think of it as a pencil drawing you can then use all of the different colors that you want and you can tone in any color absolutely any color but it is so much quicker than sitting and colouring all of the individual elements and then if I take let's take this scrappy piece out because we don't need that now and we're going to put this onto the fresh freesia background and we can put a little sentiment if we want I might actually leave it as it is and uh, add the sentiment on afterwards so that was the these three so we did um, fresh freesia highland heather and blackberry bliss which is beautiful together really like those combination we did this one which again you know they look very different but using exactly the same stamp so that was with the um, Sahara Sand Pool Party and Smoky Slate and then the first one that I did which was my um, practice one that one is in the Cinnamon Cider and So Saffron and Sahara Sand so you can see beautiful different colours and all we've used is this brand new stamp set which is available in Celebration completely free with a qualifying order. Um, so look out for that and you can see how you can make some pretty cards, different colour combinations, all look very different um, and yet would work beautifully as cards. So thank you so much as always for watching. Please stay safe and well and please be kind. Bye bye.